Welcome back, everyone, to the next segment of Big Bang Theory's uh, BTS vlog. It is uh, 23 hours and 2 minutes into the day of Wednesday, June 15th, 2016. And yes, uh, the June 2000, no, the June uh, 14th video. That's the, uh, see, today is the uh, 15th. Tuesday was the 14th. That video is going to be going up uh, later on on uh, on Thursday. So that basically means we're current once again. We're, we're I'm now filming the uh, current episode. Uh, it probably won't be finished and uploaded till Friday. So uh, you're about we're again we're within the one to one to three day uh, time period in terms of our the, the vlogs. So that's uh, relatively current, so that's what we call this current. Uh, and let me get down to business here. Uh, I thank people who who, who, com uh, who comment. Apparently YouTube is being uh, uh, morons again. And they're, vlo they're flagging uh, content to spam. So I'll see, a vlog I'll co say, I'll see a notice that you've uh, commented on something. Go to look at comment. Look at the comments. There's nothing there. Uh, I get noticed uh, a, 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 a couple times later, like, like like a month later, that uh, oh, excuse me, that of a, 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 po a post has been flagged as spam, and there it is. There, there's your comment. So uh, I do try to take it. I try to take a look at things and I look at what you suggest. Uh, some guy named Mohammed. I don't know what his name, his full name. I can't remember what his full name is. I didn't write it down. Uh, uh, sent me a link about Islam uh, from the, the Islamic view of Christianity. And this is sort of I've watched the video, and I said you know you watch the video, even though you don't necessarily agree with it. You watch it to see what the content is in there, and sort of you go from there. And I did ha I watched the video. I actually downloaded the video. I'm going to do some more work on the video. These are simply the ad hoc notes. These are the first initial notes. And things will be developed later on in more detail. Um, the What I've seen, and this is what, if, if you're watching a lot of videos about Christianity and the so-called real, real Jesus and so on and so forth, you've got to understand something here. All of the videos I've seen, I'm going to say, so this is, so I'm going to say most of the videos that I've seen, uh, and I'm going to say most videos, uh, have significant problems with Christianity. It's not that they're against Christianity, it's that they don't even know Christianity. What they're using as their standard is what is basically promoted by Roman Catholicism. And Roman Catholicism, this is not simply typical of uh, Islamists, but this is true of atheists as well. When they talk about Christianity, they're not talking about the original Christianity that came out of the Middle East. Christianity is not European. And this is something that needs to be understood, that Christianity is not European. It's from the Middle East. The, the Middle Eastern world is not an Islamic world. It's only Islamic today because the Muslims committed genocide and wiped out the Christian population that was there. This is the only reason why you don't have a Christian world in the Middle East. But Christianity is Middle Eastern. The apostles were Middle Eastern. 
they weren't Europeans. And yet, all I see from the atheists, from Muslims, from people telling us what, the, what Christianity was really like, are all talking about a European Christ, a European Christianity. And that was not the case. And this is, and there's so much more to that 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 is not properly understood that, that that's missing from these videos. And this is not this is not indicative of this one particular video. This one particular has, has it's in it, but the overall understanding is missing, and it's from almost every video like 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 this has this problem in it that they haven't gone back to a large chunk of these archives. And they are hard to find. They're very difficult. It does. It's gonna. Anyone who wants to get beyond the thousand A.D. beyond uh, the uh, Roman Catholic version of the Church of Christianity. That's the European view of Christianity. If you want to get back to the European, uh, the prior to the European thing, you have to get into ancient Greece. You have to do uh, uh, studies, ancient studies on ancient civilizations. This is where you'll start finding some. Trickles of threads that will lead you off into really unknown or unpopulated uh, archives that or unpopular archives are not they're not typically used, uh, and to see what the real Christian church was because uh, a lot of the church, large chunk of the Christian church was underground prior to 300 A.D. The Christian Church was an underground organization. It wasn't it wasn't overt. It was a catacomb church. It was a church in resistance, and exi it existed outside of the law. And the thing is, some of the things, some of the things that I will be bringing out and talking in, in meditations, is some of the understandings of how the ancient church relates to what's going on today. And the thing is, is that I can say this about uh, Islam, and talk about Islamic scholars. If you're talking about the Sunni Islam, and anyone who follows Sunni Islam, there is no Islamic scholarship for Sunni Islam. Sunni Islam is a, is a, is a robotic, mind and neutral, follow the commands of the leaders view of things. There is no leniency, there is no mercy, there is no questioning the authorities in Sunni Islam. It is only when you go into Shia Islam that you have some degree of understanding. But the problem is with the Shia under, uh, uh, Islam is that the Shia Islam was so dominated by the Sunni Islam, by the, the, in, the invading uh, Arab armies, that, that turned everything into the, the uh, into they try to Arab they, they try to sort of conquer the entire Middle East the way the Romans did, but the thing is the Arabs were were barbarians they couldn't read or write, only the Sunnis actually had no they're the ones who could read and write, and then they could the, the Shia could read and write because from the Byzantine Empire reading and writing was a, was a standard. You had people who were uh, were very intelligent. It, it, these weren't highborn, ne weren't necessarily highborn people. The, this was these were people who uh, knew the church. They were they, they, they had been reading. The, the church had a lot of books. Uh, it wasn't like the European church where there were no books. Where you had a, a a view from the from the papacy from from the from the bishops that everyone should be ignorant that they should not be reading uh, and writing they simply should be praying and that was it, that their job was to pay back Christ for the blood he spilt that was necessary to pay in terms of a penitence uh, for the sins of the world and this is this view of Roman Catholicism that things had to be done. Is also in, in in Islam that the things have there, there's a mandate in Islam to appease an angry God, the uh, God Almighty. That's why you hear Allah Akbar, right? God is great, and so as they're killing people, Allah, this 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 is their religion. This is what they believe. And the thing is, the Allah Akbar is no different than the uh, Crusaders' uh, 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 Christian uh, Salvation Army, the Army of God. I mean, there, there is no difference between a jihadist and a crusader. There is no, there is no, there is no difference. There is no 
justification for either one of these things. Because the, 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 the crusader did not exist in the early Christian church. This is why you have the Christian martyrs in the early Christian church on, in, on the, under, the Roman, uh, under the real Roman Empire going to their deaths in these arenas, being uh, martyred, being killed for their faith, but they, they weren't fighting back. They were peaceful. They were pacifists. Right? These were our first, the Christians were the first anti-establishment people on this earth. The, if you're talking about anti-establishment, you're talking about individuality, or, or an individual relationship with God, an individual relationship with God who you view as your father, you know, so you're not simply a, a, a servant-master relationship with a deity. Christianity, the early Christianity was the first. Yet none of this sh comes out. None of this comes out. And why doesn't this come out in the discussion in the Why does this come out in the discussion for atheism? Because it's unknown. This aspect of the church, the early Christian aspect, is not known because it was stamped and wiped out, primarily, except for when you get into these hidden archives, um, by the Roman Catholic Church. And so the entire view of Christianity is a Western European view of the original view the eastern view is completely gone you'll find it in certain small pockets here and there uh, if you study your ancient languages like Greek and go into some of the Greek archives uh, you will find some of the stuff you will find paths to this understanding but it's not an easy find I've been working at this now for doing my research here in physics in theology, going down these ancient paths, doing uh, uh, cultural anthropology, looking for the ancient paths in cultural anthropology for 25 years. It is not an easy jaunt. It is not something that, that comes and rolls right off easily. And the, the bringing what I've done, the research that I've done, the notes that I have, for 25 years, bring them all together and bring them out into an environment, a public environment like this, where it's sort of so-called published. It's, again, it's not an easy thing to do. There's a difference between what I understand in terms of what I've experienced and how do I explain my experiences to you. And this is, the, the, the BTS vlogs is the beginning of this. It's the, it's the initial notes. It's the initial step out into the world, the, the publishing the information of, uh, in terms of what I've done in terms for the last 25 years of my research. And it is, I'm not, I said, I'm not knocking the, I'm not knocking the, this thing and saying, oh, Islam is, it, it, this is what Islam is. But this is also indicative when you see what's, what, what their view is here. This is indicative of, of what Roman Catholicism has done to, 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 to Christianity. What the Europeans have done to Christianity. They've, they've, they've mangled it to such a degree that Christianity is not fundamentally recognizable anymore. When someone says they're a Christian fundamentalist and you see them getting angry and saying, let's go to war, you're not looking at, a, uh, uh, this is not the fundamentals of Christ. When you're talking about someone who wants a death penalty for someone who's done something wrong and is not forgiving, this is not a fundamental of Christ. Even though they may be Christian fundamentalists, this is not fundamental to Christ. It is fundamental to Roman Catholicism. It is fundamental to the Western Christian view of Christianity, which emerged a thousand years later. So you're not seeing the original Christianity. Even though you're looking at, 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 at a, uh, a Protestant, maybe you're talking to a Baptist or you're talking to an evangelist, these people are, have no they have no connection to Christ. They have no correct connection to it. Roman Catholics go if they go back far enough, will have a thousand will be beginning at a thousand A.D. at the thousand years after Christ. The late the earliest that you can go back for the for the the for the evangelist for the uh, the this the, the so called uh, the Christian right, the fundamentalists, is 1800 A.D. Same thing with the Mormons. Mormons can't go back for any further than 1800 A.D. These are modern recreations, relatively modern in terms of history, 
of Christianity. They're not the original forms of Christianity. And so, yes, they're fundamental to their own particular ideas, but they're not fundamental to Christ. And yet, what happens when you have the atheists, you have some of these other scholars arguing about these sort of theological issues. They're looking at it from the modern perspective. They're not looking at the original Christian church. And this is what I eventually hope to bring out in med meditations and stuff like that, to bring out some, and this is why I'm doing meditations. This is because I'm also doing it myself, uh, you know, to bring out an understanding that the Christian church is fundamental, the real Christian church is fundamentally different than most people think it is. And the thing is, is if you are an open-minded person, if you really, not only an open-minded, but if you are truly interested in understanding spirituality and not simply viewing spirituality as some sort of trinket or an idea that can be, oh, everyone's fine, just have your own idea and you're okay. That's not it. And it's also not it. it you know, lighting candles and having a yoga mat, if that's your spirituality, that's how deep your spirituality goes. And if, if, if that's it, then that's fine. But it's, don't expect it to be a deep spirituality. Don't, don't expect it to be a deep understanding of spirituality. If you want to go further, then you need to listen here. And it's not simply listening. It's initially listening, take your inner notes, and then going out and doing some research. Just the way I've done my research, and these are my ad hoc notes, you have to go out and do the same thing. The learning and understanding only starts when you first start listening and taking your notes and going out and doing further research. But the rest of it takes time. It's, 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 it's a time-consuming process. And it's not for everyone. Not, not everyone likes to do this type of work. But if you're interested in, interested in understanding, this is the only path to understanding. Research, an open-minded research, is the only path to real understanding. If you haven't done any research, you're not going to do any research. You're, you know, basically sitting in front of the TV and doing nothing, then you're going to expect nothing out of it. Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave that here for now. This is <laughs> the beginning of a blog. Uh, I, said I will be making the effort to answer questions and comments in uh, the vlogs, for each vlog, if, depending on how much is there. Uh, I'll be doing them in the uh, video here. This is with a video response here. So they'll be part of the, blog, of the vlog. And ideas that I'm going to work on more significantly, like the uh, whole Islamic thing, the view, Islamic view of Christ, uh, there will be a follow-up to this. But it's not going to be here in the BTS vlog. It's going to be more in an Insta vlog. And it's going to look, start looking at some of the more specific issues of things that are brought out. Now, the thing is, if you want me to be using graphics and clips from your videos to argue back, you need to make sure your videos are labeled uh, Creative Commons. Because the Creative Commons allows reuse of the video. Uh, for some reason, YouTube still is flagging videos. If I take a clip of yours... And I use it to argue against your points, even even though the, the, it is part of fair use. YouTube will flag this and block the entire video. This is what they've done, and this is what they're still doing. They're blocking videos. They're censoring materials on the internet based on the on the digital copyright, uh, digital millennium copyright act. If you do not want to be participate in the digital millennium copyright act, you do want to have your videos open and free to be criticized. And this is what I've done. Look at my license down below. It says free speech, and it also says Creative Commons reuse allowed. If your stuff does not say Creative Commons free uh, reuse allowed, you do not have a free speech clause down there, then your videos cannot be safely used in a rebuttal. And that means you're now, your argument is now closed, and it's over because you're not allowing a discussion to continue if your stuff is copywritten. Anything that is copywritten... The, any con uh, content that is covered is not real science because it's not real argument. It is not real academics because it cannot be argued against. It cannot be criticized. And I'll talk more about uh, the DCMA and uh, academic criticism and how people hide behind a lot of this stuff in the next segment when we come back. 
Uh, maybe a couple hours from now, because I still got a lot more work to do still tonight. Um, so I'll see you then. All right, take it easy. Well, welcome back to the uh, next segment of Big Bang Theory Rails BTS vlog. Yes, we will have another discussion. Um, <laughs> it was, we're going to continue the discussion that we had before. Let me give you a time and date stamp so we'll get that out of the way. It is 10 hour, it's uh, 22 hours and 14 minutes into the day of uh, Thursday, June 16th, 2016. Yeah, we just imagine imagine the vlog just simply once a day. Uh, there'll be another uh, in it, it, to, to this vlog. Uh, we'll be adding possibly another another day to another segment. Uh, I have to uh, go food shopping again tomorrow. It's Friday, so add that to the schedule. And um, really, it really depends on the discussion that happens now. Um, the, the, the discussion that's going to happen now is, is again, it's, it's the comment that, uh, was made, uh, uh, on one of my videos, and it's talking, it, it introduces me to, or sends me to a video that talks about the, uh, uh, the Muslim view of Christ, and I said, I watched the film, and I've seen other films like this before, most uh, documentaries on Christ will, uh, and I, there are other documentaries out there on Christ, that's what I'm saying, most, uh, I'm not going to categorize say in every, all of them like this, but most, uh, uh, documentaries on Christ pick up Christ from the Western European view, and there is an Eastern European view of, uh, Christ, and their, these views are different, they're not, actually, they're not even complementary. Uh, they they very much contradict one another, so you cannot use the Western uh, view of Christ or understanding of Christ, which was developed around a thousand A.D. before it emerges and emerges the Roman Catholic Church. You cannot use this as a basis of argument. And say, well, this is Christ is, is a bad person because or. Or what isn't God because of what you see based on um, on, on on arguments that are presented from a Catholic perspective? perspective. And you know that Western European uh, Christianity is a Catholic perspective. It's specific to the Roman Catholic Church, and it evolves from there on out into the variety of denominations that you see today in terms of Western Christianity. Uh, the, the, and the thing is, it even went into the Middle East when they talk about the Crusades. They conquered the churches there. They, they, they forced the, view, the Roman Catholic views on a large chunk of the uh, Christian population in the Middle East. And so what happens is you have, in, uh, from 800 AD on, you have a genocide of the original Christians in Greece. And this is the, in, in, in the Middle East, and this includes Greece, this includes uh, Turkey, this includes, uh, which at the time was Constantinople. It was the center of the Roman Empire. Um, it includes uh, uh, Egypt. We're talk we we we're going to talk about the Coptic Egyptians uh, and what's happened to the Coptic Egyptians. If you want to talk about Christ, you want to talk about the Islamic view, about uh, how uh, I want to talk about Islamophobia, go talk to a Coptic Christian. And ask them their view and their experiences with Islam. And I could tell you right now, and the same thing for now, because I'm an Antioch, uh, my Christian is from Antioch. It's an Antiochian Christian. It's an Eastern Christianity uh, that's also based in, was based in Greece. Uh, in, 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 it was in Greece as well, but it's now no, there's no longer there. Uh, there are a few uh, uh, churches out in the mountains, but more often than not, the the, the the common church, the common Greek Orthodox, is simply a sub-branch of Roman Catholicism now. Uh, the uh, Patriarch has fully submitted to the papacy, and is agreed that it's more or less that um, uh, the papacy is the head of the church, the Pope is the head of the church, and the uh, Greeks are fundamentally the, uh, and, and just like the Ukrainians, they're known as Eastern Rite Catholics. And this is how the denomination goes. So you cannot walk into a church that looks Eastern 
and say, okay, this is an Eastern Church, we'll base our arguments off of this, because you have to ask, have they knelt to the papacy? Have they changed their doctrines to the papacy? And simply look like an Orthodox Church, look like an Eastern Orthodox Church. And in many cases, that's what's happened. And the thing is, is that we have this argument, we talk about this argument, but the thing is, I can't use their, their I can't use their, uh, any of the arguments that they put forth in the documentary. They, they put, hey, watch this documentary here, watch this film, why can't I use it? Because of the DC, DMCA, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. The, the algorithm that, that YouTube uses um, to flag copyright, and they flag the entire video, it blocks the entire video from going out, um... And you can't argue against it because you can't bring the materials in and say, okay, this is what's wrong, and, and do a point by point criticism without having your video, without having your video, your your documentary flagged and taken down. That's censorship, and they're fully aware of what's going on. They're, you know, YouTube has been told about this time and time again. Same thing with same thing with uh, uh, you know uh, members of the members of the, of the house uh, the House of Commons. The, the you know they're the well, in Canada House of Commons, but. Uh, in the United States, the Congress. Most governments are aware of the situation. Now, the thing is, they don't, particularly on the left, they don't dare go against the Muslim uh, uh, rules because they don't want to appear to be Islamophobic. And so what happens, Islam is allowed to murder, rape, and kill and then turn around and say, here's our argument to Christ. We just want to have an argument. And we, want to, we want to have a discussion. But what about all the people you killed? What about all the people you raped? What about the Coptics? What about the Antiochians? I mean, that's my background. My background is from, uh, I, I'm not a, a, a European Greek. I'm an Asiatic Greek. My people come from, um, from Cappadocia, from that area there. I know people who are, Pond or, or from Pondi. Their, their, their grandparents and, and even their parents were, remember what the Muslims did to them. They remember the Muslim rule that, that, that no Christian could be higher than a Muslim. And that, in many cases, what ended up happening is the Muslims uh, ended up riding, uh, using the Christians as donkeys and they'd ride on top of them and, as a pack mule. And they'd have to carry this Muslim around because the, 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 there was this law that, that no uh, Christian could be higher than a Muslim. The Coptics have very similar stories to this. Same thing with the, anti, the, the original Antiochian Christians. They have the same stories. And you can see that most of them have been pushed out of the Middle East. And the thing is, so how do you come across an argument, say, talk to an argument, and say, okay, let's have a discussion. When a large chunk of the discussion is now blocked, it is now illegal to say something, it is illegal to, 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 to question, and the establishment backs this up, and you have these so-called alternative media things like the Young Turks. He's a Muslim. He knows he's a Muslim. You know, this guy is named Cenk, whatever, 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 I think, whatever, whatever his name is. He's there from Young Turks. These people uh, around are very pompous. They, they, they view themselves as uh, having the moral high ground, although they have, they're on the left, and so they have alternative morals. They don't have actual morals. They have alternative morals. And their morals are whatever they define them to be. But yet, they are moral, and they have the moral high ground, and they call themselves alternative media. They talk about, hey, we are alternative media. But you can't comment on their stuff because their stuff is copywritten. They're using this standard YouTube copyright law, the standard YouTube uh, license. And that means you cannot take their material, you cannot argue against the material, because otherwise if you do, the, your, your, your video will be flagged and taken down. It'll be censored. And there goes your argument. So it doesn't matter what argument is put forward. Because the establishment, if that's got that sign that says YouTube standard license, any channel, no matter how much they claim to be anti-establishment, if they have the, the, the label there, standard YouTube license, 
they are establishment because their argue their stuff their materials cannot be used to, to argue they cannot be criticized without being flagged for copyright if you want to be open you want to be a uh, 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 part of the alternative then your work has to be creative commons it has to be this is the only license the Creative Commons is the only license that allows you reuse. And I put a caveat above the, uh, the, the licensing sentence there. The description has uh, goes all the way down to the standard licensing. And what I do is I put down at the bottom there, free speech. That I practice free speech. It's at the end of all my videos that I practice. There's free speech rules here. This means you can take any part of my video and criticize it in any manner you wish. And you will not, because they have the credit commons license there, you will not be flagged for a content, uh, uh, for copyright or content ID. I do not have the content enabled. I do not have it set up. I am not going to become a partner for YouTube. I have no intention of signing partnerships because I do not intend to monetize the channel. I do not intend to cross over and, and use the standard YouTube license. Which involves the, the which involves the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, which is censorship. Any channel that does this, no matter how much they say they are our alternative, this includes uh, Glenn Beck, this includes uh, Alex Jones. If their stuff is copywritten, if it's got the standard YouTube li uh, li uh, license. They are establishment. They're not anti-establishment because if they were anti-establishment, they would be using Creative Commons. They would be, uh, and that they would say very clearly, reuse allowed. And that's what my videos say. All of them say this. And none of my videos will ever have this, the, the, the have that stand that license there that says standard YouTube license. I will never ever use that. It will always be Creative Commons. It will always allow reuse. It will always be free speech. This is my standard and I will stick with it. And the thing is, is that, again, I will comment more about Islam. I will comment more on the subject, but I can't use a lot of their content. You're not going to see a lot of the graphics. I'm not going to be able to point to evidence because I can't. It's not allowed. And the thing is, if they want to really present a good argument, really be honest about this, change the license. Go to Creative Commons. Anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, I'm chugging on with my day. I'm finally doing some laundry. A large chunk of the backlog is now gone. Uh, and bit by bit, um, working through the mountain that sort of... <laughs> emerged over the winter uh, due to uh, a lot of moves here and a lot of other work that went on that caused a lot of work that's very simply pile up. And bit by bit, bit by bit, month over month, week over week, uh, I've been sort of using some small projects and bit by bit it's been shrinking, been shrinking, been shrinking, been shrinking and now I'm on to the final piles of work, uh, and it should take me another two weeks to uh, get through it. So, uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, the work on the Open Protocol Institute is going along well. Uh, I've done uh, a large chunk of the blog work. I still have to do other work for that as well, but things are, as I said, they're progressing. Anyways, I will see you in the uh, next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory, uh, Big Bang Theory, uh, Big Bang Theory RL's uh, BTS vlog. Uh, see you then. Democratic, Democratic Earth, Earth.